Hi, my name's Ace Designs 107 and I'm the only channel on YouTube that does daily uploads for graphics design tutorials and other videos. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to get all these daily videos. My upload schedule is going to be Monday UI design tutorial. UI design is an awesome way how to learn graphics design and a lot of graphics studios demand you to know UI design if you want to become a graphics designer later in your life. Tuesday's text effect tutorial, you get to make cool text effects. And on Wednesday, it's going to be a manipulation tutorial to edit photos and manipulate them to really stun your friends and family. On Thursday, an animation tutorial on After Effects, make it showing you how to make really cool 2D animations. And on and on Friday, it's going to be a Cinema 40 tutorial. Cinema 40 is a really world-renowned editing software for 3D scenes, and you'll learn how to make really cool 3D things. And on Saturday, it's going to be a random video plus a speed art to celebrate the weekend. I'm going to be uploading two videos on Saturday, and yeah. And on Sunday, it's going to be a giveaway because of Sunday's Prosperity Day, as we have passed a week, and we get to go on another next week. So it's going to be a giveaway to enhance your channel's artwork. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Welcome to Ace Designs 107. Today is Animation Thursday, and on Thursdays I make tutorials on animation tutorials. Um, mostly 2D, but I will be going on to 3D later on. So, today is going to be on this animation in After Effects. It's actually really simple, and it was done by Effects Channel House. Um, he's a really good person in animating and everything like that. Um, but I just want to give him credibility for this tutorial, and I just want to make my version of the tutorial. So hopefully you guys won't get too upset that I'm making my own version. And these, um, and animating these lines may look pretty simple, but there is a couple of steps to it, but it should only take like 10 minutes for this tutorial maximum. So yeah, I'm just going to get straight into the tutorial. But before I do start, I just want to say if you saw the beginning of the video, and if you're a subscriber or a new person, as you could see, I'm going to be doing daily uploads now, and that's going to be my upload schedule. All uploads are going to be at 12 a.m. Eastern Time for Australia, so yeah, just hit that subscribe button and enjoy, you know, learning graphics design with me. So let's get straight into today's tutorial. So we're going to go to File, New, Project, and I'm just going to don't save that. And then we're going to go to new composition, and I'm going to make the duration 10 seconds, frame rate 30, 30 frames, and width 1920 and the height 1080p. Press OK on that. Now I'm going to go to layer, new, solid, or press Control y on the keyboard, and I'm just going to name this back, background or BG, doesn't really matter. And the color is going to be something different this time, so I'm going to make it like a yellow maybe an orange you want something mellow dish not something too bright not something too um you know too dark so the next thing that we are going to do is grab our pen tool and we are just going to make sure that we clicked off the background layer with our move tool just click it off and then grab our pen tool make the fill too white and make the stroke too white doesn't really matter but white's better on orange and then shift click a line so click on a point and then hold shift and click another point there you have your line and then with that line we're going to animate it so we are going to skip probably a couple frames into it so probably 15 frames or around let's see that's like half second because that's 30 seconds right sweet that's one second so we're going to go here and then we are going to right click and we're just going to go to our contents and then go to trim paths and then we are going to click the arrow under trim paths and hit this and we're going to animate this line so to animate it we are going to hit start and we're going to make the percentage 100 percent then we are going to go probably a couple frames second to like a minute and 10 seconds and then make it zero frames so this is making a simple animation and then we're going to go in between halfway between those frame points and then we're going to press end and with the end we're going to make it zero halfway and then after this we're going to make it 100 
So we basically got the animation and the next thing to do is basically duplicate it. But before we do that, we want some rotations. So there we go. So um, I'm just going to go over this animation part because this is where you really need to get the tutorial down pad to understand its effect. So you make a start, make the first keyframe 100%, then go ahead by like one second or half second and then make the percentage 0% and then they'll automatically put a keyframe there. And then go down to your end value and change that to 0% and then keyframe it one second after a half second to 100%. And then we've got our animation, which I'll display for you right now. All right, sweet. Now um, we want to apply a rotation. So we're just going to close this and press R on our keyboard, hit rotation, and we're going to alt click the stopwatch and we're going to type in index hash or dash, you know, the star form. And then we are going to do 360 divided by 20 and this will put an angle on our shape so now it's on an angle and now all we have to do is duplicate this so yeah we're just going to duplicate it so we're going to press that layer press ctrl c ctrl v ctrl v and then just keep on pressing ctrl v until you duplicated it fully in a circle like that and then we've got like a circle animation so that looks really cool Alright, so next thing that we want to do is just make our work a bit neater. So we're going to shift click all of those. And we are going to go to layer, pre-compose or control shift C. And we're going to name this shape. Press OK. And then what that does is we just turned all those layers into one, you know, composition. And you can always edit them, edit that composition by double clicking on that layer and then you can go and individually edit them. It just makes your work much more cleaner in After Effects. So after that, we can change a lot of the settings. So we can change the scale of things to like here or like that, but I'm just gonna keep it 100%. But what I'm gonna do now is just add a slight fade. So I think our animation starts around here. So I'm going to go to the point where it starts the animation and I'm gonna change the opacity to 100% and I'm gonna keyframe that. Then I'm going to go back to the zero and change it to zero percent. And then we have a fade in with the lines and it and the animation starts. Another thing that you can do is you can apply a rotation. So once the lines have disappeared at this point, you can hit rotation and here, and then we can change it to like that. And then you know we've got something really cool funky going on. I'm just going to RAM preview that. So we've got something really nice going on, and I really do like that. But I think the rotations are happening a bit too fast. So to fix that, I'm just going to change this down to zero again. Change this down to zero again. And I'm just going to change the values slightly. So instead of it twisting really fast, we can still keep in track with the animation and it's having that slight twist effect. So as you guys can see, we are ending up to the end of this tutorial. And if you did enjoy it, or if I gave you some knowledge in any sort of way in this tutorial, please hit that like button. Let's see if we can get to 10 likes. Nothing guys is the next tutorial will be a Cinema 4D tutorial as said at the beginning of the tutorial. So make sure you hit that subscribe button for daily video uploads. And let's see if we can get this channel a bit bigger and grow the community in graphics design as a happy place. Thank you guys for watching the tutorial. The next video will have a live webcam. So yeah, you'll get to see my sexy face and we'll see you guys later. Bye. Can't stop me, don't even try Text me soon as I go reply Next up, you'll be waving her by Then she's goners Ain't hard to tell, she's smart as hell That's honors Don't sleep because it's too easy I'm out here robbing yonders, yeah Yeah, every night I'm signing booze with Sharpie